Each year, the European Union produces some 8 million tons of textile waste. Use clothes, of course, but also sheets, carpets, curtains, upholstery, etc. Only about 20% of that is currently recycled. The rest ends up in landfill or is simply incinerated. How do you change the situation? Here in Maribor, Slovenia, European researchers have designed and built a pilot plant to try to find answers to that question. Each year, the city of Maribor collects some 400 tons of textile waste. Only a small percentage is recycled, local environmental engineers say. And there's a reason. Textiles are heavily processed materials, often treated with chemicals. Recycling it is particularly challenging. We all know that textile should be dyed. It is also burned with some auxiliaries. Um, it has maybe some waterproof finishing on. It is also composed of some various materials like metals, like some plastics is also present. Scientists at a European research project have faced up to the challenge with this experimental plant. Three processors turn used clothes into fossil fuel-free secondary raw materials. Once sorted, textiles such as wool, cotton or polyester go through customised processes, including the removal of any dyes. It is really very important that the waste we use as an input or a raw material for a new secondary raw material is sorted very well. That means that uh, purer is the input, purer and of a high quality is the output. The final product also depends on the nature of the textile waste. Out of polyester, for example, researchers were able to create acids that can be used later to produce plastics. But they have other materials. We treat uh, cotton, for instance. We got the glucose juice, which was transferred into bioethanol. Uh, then we treat wool. From wool, we got proteins, which can be used as a resins. Instead, the toxic formaldehyde resins in wood panels. Laboratory research is underway to improve the recycling process, which requires biochemical blending and high pressures and temperatures. This work helps to establish the best methods to produce the purest outcome. We need to obtain the, the material, the same quality that this material which we get from the uh, fossil fuels. And this is a very important step and we need to do on the purification to get really the same quality material. Researchers think the same technology could be used to encourage the circular economy business models of other waste products. We are spreading um, our technology also to the plastics, polyethylene plastics, for example, bottles, and we will also try to degrade uh, packaging material, uh, cellulose packaging material, which is, all, which is also one of the biggest environmental problems. Scientists say they hope their work will also increase public awareness about the environmental and economic importance of properly sorting and recycling textile waste. Thank <laughs> you.